Shappers. And I'm the captain. And we're at Andertons. We certainly are today. And those very kind friends of ours at Fender uh, have loaned us um, a, a little exclusive. Um, you guys have maybe seen some Fender videos of this little amplifier here called the Greta. Got announced at uh, the NAM show in 2012, but it's not in the shops yet. And Fender have kindly lent us the only one in Europe so that you guys can see the very first kind of independent review right here on our channel. <laughs> Well, the Greta. Go on, read it off, bro. <laughs> well, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna read it. <laughs> this is a serious review, Lee. You can't be laughing and drinking coffee. Um, the Greta is is named the Greta because they they spelt great wrong. Um, <laughs> it's a, it's a tabletop amplifier. Now, what that means is that you put this down on a nice table with a bit of a coffee, yeah. not too close to the amplifier's proximity, and you chill out with a bit of blues, maybe some jazz and get some tasty tones. And this is action packed full of tasty tones. two watts it's from uh, Fender's pawn shop series so the whole idea these are the pawn shop series was that kind of quirky series of things that don't you know so it's a clearly this is designed to look like one of those old Baker like kind of radios from back in the 50s and the 60s um, but it's a cool guitar amplifier um, it's got two tubes in it one for the an preamp. 87 and the power and an AX7 in, in the, the preamp. Um, and we've just got a straightforward volume control and a tone control on the front here. Little VU meters, kind of cool. <laughs> small speaker um, it's kind of two monsters in one box because the thing is I mean I like monsters but if you just plug into this it sounds warm and you get great clean tones yeah. and some nice kind of fuzzy overdrive yeah. sounds and it's, and it's quiet that's it's the thing very quiet I mean yeah. it, this is not a gigging amplifier yeah. this is a sitting down at home chilling in the living room with yeah. your family playing a little bit of blues while the kids are playing on the PlayStation <laughs> Thank you. 
nice tones with this. Nice tones. You yeah. plug it into a 412, you get some great tones. Yeah. Maybe some Greta tones. Yeah, so, or, or not even just a 412. Any, any speaker or cabinet where, the, where you've got a much bigger speaker than there and you'll hear the, all the bass end that this little speaker can't naturally reproduce will suddenly appear. <laughs> amplifier and this is very cool um, as well as you know your guitar input which you'd expect to have uh, you've also got an output to put into a bigger cabinet a line output so if you just want to put into say a different amplifier for example or record with it you could do that you've got a, a mini jack input so you can run your iPod through it it's got an instrument input on the back on the back um, yeah just tell you well, there is no instrument input on the front this is a, didn't Ampeg used to make a series of <laughs> get to do that because we, we were doing so well to that point. So, um, what, Lee, tell me, why has it got this little meter here? Is that just a I think it's thing? just a throwback, isn't it, to those kind of old analog pieces of audio equipment that had a VU meter on there. It does it's, look very cool, doesn't it? It does actually sort of indicate whether or not you're growling the amplifier or whether you're clean. We've used a couple of pedals with this. Um, we've used a reverb pedal. I think that's, um, makes a massive difference to any amplifier where the speaker is small. If you put a reverb uh, pedal through it, you sort of disguise that smallness, if you like. Yeah. Um, and what we've done is also just picked up a little drive pedal. Because um, we can. Yeah, because we've got <laughs> hundreds of them. Uh, because the, the amp on its own, the kind of drive on this is by gunning it. And although it's not loud, it's a kind of, it's not a smooth gain like a pedal would be. It's kind of like a, oh my God, my amp's kind of really working hard kind of gain. Yeah, personally, I'm not a massive fan of the sort of gain sounds from the head alone, but the clean sounds I think mm. are very good. However, when you plug it into an external cabinet, the gain sounds take on a completely different characteristic and I think they're fantastic. And we're gonna do that now. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So that was the Greta. Um, I said I hope you enjoyed some of the tones. Come to Anderton's if you want to check it out yourself. But the bit I guess you'll be probably most surprised to hear is how much this is. I don't know, maybe you had some preconceptions that, you know, it kind of looks expensive and it's all valve and you're sort of thinking, oh, it's probably a, you know, four or five hundred pound amplifier or something like that. But it's not, it's absolutely not. These sell for about 150 pounds. So same sort of price as a decent pedal costs you. Uh, and I'm sure are going to be on the tables of heaps and heaps of Fender fans all over the world who just want something they can get home, plug in and chill out with. Yeah, and if you've got a nice collection of batik effects mm. and you want to chill out and with a coffee and sit down and just relax and enjoy your effects, yeah. this is a really nice way of doing that. Yeah. But it is, it's very, as you said, it's not a loud amplifier and I think that's what people will appreciate the most is it's a genuine kind of home or, I think one of the Fender videos has even got the guy at the office playing this. <laughs> that happens all the time in our offices, but I suspect other people's offices is probably not so cool. Um, but yeah, do check it out. It's a great little amplifier. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Yeah, I've been Rob Chappers. I've been the captain. See you next time. Uh -huh.